Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to tackle the basics of installing mods on Monster Hunter World. And of course, I'll show you how I make my mods organized since I'm a very OC person. Console peeps, my condolences. First up, to get started, you have to download one of these programs to unzip files, since installing mods would require a lot of folder unzippings and extractions. Download the version of the program that would be right for your operating system, if it's 32-bit or 64-bit. Links are down below. For personal preferences, I, I just use WinRAR. Now, if you have no idea if you're running on 32-bit or 64-bit, simply press Windows key with X then select system. A new window will open. Under device specifications, check for system type. Next, you gotta have the latest Visual C Plus redistributable files. Download both x86 and x64. Once again, link is in the description below. Now, after installing those files, restart your PC, just to be safe. Now that everything is done, go to Nexus Mods and register an account there. Without an account, you won't be able to download mods in this site. Don't worry, it's safe and free. My computer's still working, so yeah, I think it's safe. The first and most important thing you're going to download from Nexus would be Strikers Loader. What it does is it enables your native PC folder. This mod gets updated from time to time and most mods would require this to be updated for them to work. Make sure you put that link on your favorites tab because the modders update trackers every time Monster Hunter gets an update. Once downloaded, just extract the file directly to your Monster Hunter game folder. If ever you can't start your game all of a sudden after installing Strikers, check the version of Strikers that you have. If it's outdated, go to your game directory and delete dtdata.dll, loader-config.json file, loader.dll. Those are the three files that always come with Strikers. And just install it again once a new version of Strikers for the current Monster Hunter version is released. Now, okay, mod installations. For me, I create the folder wherein I dump all the mods I install. Bear with my upper obsessive compulsiveness. I just want everything to be organized. Trust me, it's going to be worth it in the long run, especially if you have one of those days that you go on a modding fiasco. We all have one of those days, no need to be embarrassed. I make a folder named Monster Hunter Mods. Inside, there are two folders, an extraction area folder and an installed folder. Inside the extraction area, you would see that I have placed a shortcut to my Monster Hunter World game directory. Now, we're gonna demo how I usually go and install a mod. Okay, for the demo's sake, let's try to install this mod. So what this mod does is it converts the Siri layered armor into Lucina, which is a character from Fire Emblem. You basically just go to Files. Now most of the mods that you would see in Nexus would have a main file and optional files. Optional files are basically just alterations of the main file. Like for example, you would see here, it even it's even in all caps. This cannot be swapped onto other layered armors. Check below for that. So when you check below, you have another option here, which if you want, if you want to use the chainmail layered instead of a Siri layered, download this. So for demo's sake, we're just gonna go for this one. So you go for manual download. And go for slow download because we're not premium. And oh, I urge you guys to, um, if you guys have spare, have spare change, spare dollars, um, try to donate if ever you do love the mod that you just downloaded. You're having a lot of fun with it. Just, just support the uh, support the creators. Of course, it, I think it's gonna, it's gonna help them. Creating mods are not easy, so help them out. So I have this file right here. I'm gonna show you just how I do it. It's a personal preference of mine. OC, you know? So I just go to where I've downloaded the file. I cut it. Okay, I 
and move it there. I mentioned a while ago, I did make a folder like here, Monster Hunter Mods. So I paste it there and I copy it again, put it in the extraction area. Now I did say earlier that this one is a shortcut to my game directory. So if I double click, I'm instantly in my game directory. No need to scroll, okay. So what I do is I extract, extract the file here. So this is a native PC folder. Inside are the files for Lucina. So what I do is I just drag this one there. Voila, when you go to the uh, shortcut, you're gonna see it's there. And I delete this so that it's clean. Go back. And this one, I just put in installed so that it's orderly. So I would know I installed uh, I installed uh, mods. So let's just boot up the game real quick. So we know if it worked. And oh, um, a lot of the mods that you're gonna see in Iceborne are basically straightforward. Just straightforward as that. Especially for the skin mods, the uh, layered armor, layered weapons, those stuff. It's basically um, straightforward. Just copy, paste, copy, paste, extract here, extract there. But be wary, of course. That's why you gotta read the description. Because maybe you would uh, stumble upon a problem later. You might overlap each mod onto each other. Maybe later on you'll see another mod which has caught your eye and you want that mod and suddenly, oh, why is it not working? Maybe, maybe you put it on top of another Siri layered armor mod. We, we wouldn't know. So that's why you gotta look at the description. If ever, which armor they're getting applied on, which weapon they're getting the applied on, so you wouldn't have any problems in the future. So here, as you can see, my character is already wearing the Siri layered armor. And as you can see, it doesn't look like Siri. Looks like Lucina from Fire Emblem. See, it's that easy. Okay. Uninstalling mods is easy. Just delete the native PC folder or the files of that specific mod inside the native PC folder. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll be featuring more mods in the channel, and I've been getting questions on how to install them. Hopefully, this video helped. See you in the next video.